Haven't you heard of uh, First Nolly TV? Home of Nollywood movies. Mm -hmm. Subscribe now. First Nolly TV. Don't talk that. Nonsense, honestly. What rubbish is that? The next night like, you will see him, he will come into this place and and, and, and you, know, you want to start dragging property with my husband. What nonsense? It's rubbish now. Eh? You want to start dragging properties with my husband. The next thing you will call a lawyer and boom! They want to now come and share the properties. What nonsense? <laughs> Baby, who is this? Who is this he? Who are, you talking, who are you talking to? Is it not Paul? Paul, your brother. Who is Paul? Who is my brother Paul? Eze Bonafo. As far as I know, your father disowned him. If your father now dies, he will just carry one lawyer. Boom! He wants to drag property. With that his, with that his head. That is Kokuno's head. Let him come on. I'm ready for him. Good. Maybe that, that one day, that one day, that one day, see, see, I've been browsing the internet. Huh? Yes, now, look what I found. What's that? A goddess. A goddess, a prophetess. Look. A goddess, what? Everybody in the world has been talking about this woman. See comments now, see comments, see comments. What do you want to do with a goddess? Be anything that will bring my father back to life, I will do it. Anything that will return that man back to life, me. Jesus. And guess what? Already we have an appointment. Eh? Yes, of course, now I have to shut her up. We have an appointment and she told me that I should meet her down with one particular river and I'll be going there. You are going to the river to meet? You will go alone, no? Me, I'm not going with you. You will go alone. Don't worry. I'll go alone. Whatever it takes, like I said, that will bring my father back to life. I will do it. I am not normal. Look at what's going on. Are you, are you okay? I'm okay. You okay? I'm okay. Oh, I'll do it. What is it? Father. That must have been a nightmare. Father. Are you okay? I was walking. I was walking. I was walking. It's just a nightmare. wash my face with this water. That's a very hard tax. Me, I cannot do it. Too. Why won't you do it? Why? Belinda, the essence of this ritual is to solve the whole issue. Why won't you do it? If I heard her clearly, she said, members of this family. I am not a member of this family. I'm just borrowed. Ha. Ha. And who says you're not a member of this family? Defined family. A family is defined as blood related. I'm not blood related. I am not connected by blood. Belinda, you are my wife. And you're doing this for your father-in-law. Mm. Me, I'm not going to wash my face with this water. I'm not wash my face with Everyone in this room must wash their faces with this water. You, step forward.
Step forward. Me? This water must be used to clean his body every two hours till it finishes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Nemiri. Thank you, Nemiri. Yeah. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. You know where to keep it, right? Yes, I know. Are you okay? Mama. Hello, Mama. Hello, sister. Good afternoon. Ah, uh -uh. I'm alright. Right. I'm fine. Why are you using Mama's phone to call me? Darling, mm -hmm. Mama. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I am fine, no. It's been a while. And my grandchild, I have not seen both of you. What is happening? I will come and visit you. Oh, no, don't worry, I'll come, I'll come, I'll come and visit you. I will even carry her and come and see you. Eh, okay. <laughs> bring her, don't fail. <laughs> I will bring her. I'll bring your granddaughter. Alright, I love you. Ew, it was so irritating. I was scared. I mean, I was... I was scared. What are you irritated about? I went through the same thing. Everybody did it. Did anything happen to you? Huh? Who knows where she got that water from? She got you from the graves, of course. Ah, so creepy. Ew. Baby. Baby. I want to go see my mom and sister tomorrow. That's true. Yeah, so, so what are your plans? Um, I'll be needing some money to buy some things for them. You know, it's be awkward traveling and not buying some things for them. Like how much? Um, let's just say I'll manage five hundred thousand. Five hundred what? Thousand? Is it too small? Belinda, five hundred thousand. Mm-hmm. How? With all this that are lined up, I, for God's sake, Belinda, the pastor just collected seven million. You are aware of this? Eh? About to be collected five million. The prophet has collected four million. You are aware of all this? By the time Nimri is done, she's going to take five million again. For God's sake. All these people collected this one, collected that one. What about me? You promised to take care of me. You promised me. Ah, uh, baby, am I not being considerate? They collected millions, millions, and I just collected 500. I just said 500, and you, you promised to take care of me. That's what you promised me. You need to take care of my mom and my sister. 
Oh, God. It's okay, fine. It's okay. Alright? I'm going to give you the money. I'll make it transfer. Okay? Mm. It's okay, I'll do it. Oh. Well, it's just that sometimes... Maybe you should be... <laughs> Thank you. Believe you know, sometimes for God's sake, I think about this. You should be looking at the way things are going. No, it's not like that. It's that bad though, but... You're still complaining. Everything will be fine. People should just be praying. We are not going to be praying. It will be gone. Sister, I need money for my handout and test books. <sighs> handout and test books. Yes. Okay. Sister, for me, I need money for my hostel. My roommate is really giving me trouble. And the, my things are not safe in the hostel. Am I? No. Things are not the way it used to be. We are going through a lot in the city. I understand. Okay. How much is the money? Three hundred and fifty thousand. Mm -hmm. Um, maybe we'll buy padlock for your bag. Eh? Three hundred and fifty thousand. Yes. For hostel. When I used to be in school, you know, hundred thousand. I've been at work fifty thousand these days. Uh, see, uh, Amara. For now, you have to manage. That is and good. keep your things safe. When when things get better, I will send you some money. Oh, I, you can like Mama said, you can buy padlock and lock the your bag your things. Mm. Cool. Oh, okay. And Loretta, I'll I'll send you forty thousand. Okay, you have you to so manage much. it for your handouts and textbooks. Mm -hmm. hmm? Thank you so much. Mama. Mm -hmm. Mama. Mm -hmm. Mama. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll send you the issue. Mm -hmm. I'll send you money via your account. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. So that everybody will be happy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No problem. Hey. The soup on the fire. Hey. Yeah. So you are, you, give me my bag. 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 I'm my bag. I'm going to take something from you. Mama. Come on. Mama. 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 Mm. No. She have, her body is fine now. Right? Yes, she's fine. She's the one eating our money. I can see. Mm. What are you doing here? Hey, come on. At least, good afternoon will do. Anyways, I have been here waiting for you. I looked through the uh, gates and I didn't see your car inside. So I decided to stay here <laughs> to wait for you until you come back. Listen, I don't know what you came for. But trust me, I don't have money for you. Hey, come on. I have never been a liability to you nor any member of the family okay anyways i know they must have told you that i came to the family house yes they told me you came to the family house but what exactly are you doing here exactly what i came to do in the family house 
is what brought me here. Okay? When I came to the family house, the condition I saw our father is alarming. I shed tears when I saw his condition. And all we need is to seek his face for solution. And who told you we have not done that? Who told you we have not brought powerful, unmatchable men of God to pray for fathers turn around? Oh, it's your pastor who is going to do the wonders, I see. Prodigal son, you left your father's house and chose being born again over your future. You left school, let's say Bonafo. Now tell me, how has it profited you? What benefit have you made? Excuse me. I wish I could. Don't mind that. You came to visit your family that you've not seen for years. I only spent a day. For <laughs> years, Papa Mama? Mm-hmm. I came here six months ago. That six months is not like five years. I don't know how much I've missed you. I miss you too. Mama. Yeah? Mama. Amen. <laughs> the next thing now you ask for money. That's what is all you always ask me for money. Nobody will ask me if I'm eating. Have I eaten? Did you give me breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> Mama, I'll know. see you. Oh. Don't cry. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 No significant improvement. Well, we will continue to observe him. Meanwhile, I will be traveling out of the country. But don't worry about that. Hmm? I will assign a doctor that will be coming to check on him from time to time. Okay, so just calm down. No problem. Let me see you off. Okay. Out of your mind, 
that you failed to call me to tell me of what has been happening. Uncle, I'm sorry. Honestly, it skipped my mind. That's the truth. No, the, okay, oh, Uncle, I'm confused. Uncle, I've been ultimately confused. I don't know what's going on. When I came in, because of the relationship your father and I enjoy. Uncle, ever since I was born, this is the worst encounter I've had with life. Uncle, there's nothing I've not done. I've done everything. I've called in a doctor. I've gone as far as bringing in a pastor. I've brought in a prophetess. I brought in a herbalist, a soothsayer. That's no, that, Uncle. I've stretched my hand towards everything that I know that will bring solution to these problems, and yet, Uncle, everything still remains a mystery to me. Life is full of mysteries, and those who seek to unravel them do so to an extent. Those who do not remain submit and out of tune to happenings around them. Uncle, what are you talking about? I'm lost. What are you saying? Your father is not an ordinary man. Your father is a brave man with value and he wants you to continue his legacy after him. Well, of course, I, I, I understand that my father is a great man. A very, very great man, you know, indeed. I fully understand how strong he's been in the society. Uncle, what I do not understand is this bravery. What has he got to do with this legacy that you talk about concerning me? Remember that part of the house where no one dares go to. What did I want? What are you doing there? What are you looking at? There? Now let me warn you for the final time. Don't you ever pass through here again or to into that place. Are you hearing me? Okay, Daddy. The day I catch you do it, I will kill you. Get out from there. Okay, Daddy. I'm sorry. Get out of that place. Get out. Sorry, Daddy. Run away. Nonsense. Of course, Uncle. I remember that, of course. That story was yesterday. Uncle, I you know my father the way he is. I had to listen to him. I didn't want him to say it in any way that I was disobeying whatever he asked me to do. So I had to obey him. It was nice you listened to your father. And the time has come for you to know the reasons behind all that. But that will be in my next visit. <laughs> Uncle? Was the journey? It was good. Did mm, you hmm? enjoy it? Yes. Mm? How's Grandma? She's fine. She's fine. Mm. Mm, so you enjoyed the village. <laughs> yes. Please take her upstairs. I'll come and see you soon. Okay? I'm coming to join you too. Okay. Mm? How are you? Mm. Can you chubby, chubby, chubby. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Babe, tell Charge. me what's wrong. I'm fine. Mm -mm. Something is not right. You're my husband, and you are meant to share everything, every of your problems with me. Belinda, just don't start any drama. I said I'm fine. I'm fine. Ah. Yeah, I'm okay. You don't want to tell me, right? Please. Just take it that I am fine. I'm okay. Thank you. Yeah. Sorry, sure you, you don't want to tell me. 
From by this time of the night, I made use of the restroom. Restroom? But we have restroom here. I did not want to use this one. <laughs> Meaning? Meaning that I didn't want to use it. Why are you interrogating me like this? <laughs> are you police or am I a child? Please allow me. Chief. I'm only concerned. You.
Ma, yeah, what is it? Ma, I want to clean Chip up as usual. Mm -hmm. But decided to check his pulse. He's no longer breathing. I think Chief is dead. Yes. What did you say? He's dead. What did you say? He's dead. Chief is dead. Yes, he's gone. Chief is dead. Are you sure? Hello, hello, hello? Honey, honey, you need to come back home right now. Don't ask me questions, just come back home. It's your father. You, 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 your father, your father, your, your father is... Hello? Hello? Hello, Doc? Doc? Doc, are you back? Doc, there's a situation. I don't know who... who can't feel his pulse anymore. Looks like Chief has finally given up the ghost. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm waiting. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, when did you notice this? I didn't notice it. My wife called me. And she said that our house help Rose was one that noticed it. Shall we? Yes, please. TV. Home of Nollywood movies. Subscribe now. Press Nolly TV. Don't touch that.